And unfortunately, there are, and this is, again, a contrast between fundamental Baptist churches and other churches. Other churches will teach, well, no, you, you know, you want to be just like everybody, right? To try to reach them and be friendly and all this other stuff. And that's how you're going to lead people to Christ. No. Now, look, am I for being friendly? Absolutely. Should we be looking down our noses at people? No, no. We want to reach people, right? We're going to have tact. We're going to have love. But we need to hold a standard to God. Amen. And if people get offended at that standard, that's their problem. Amen. And that will be a struggle when you start implementing standards in your life is that other people will start judging you and being mad at you for holding standards. It happens, I would say, every single time. Unless you're brought up in a family that's already a whole bunch of fundamental Baptists, you will have other people starting to criticize you for your standards. And it's crazy. I know when I first started going to a fundamental church, and especially with my family and my wife who was uh, newer, newly saved before we got married, we get married and we start having kids and you know, we're raising them a certain way. We have dress standards for ourselves. We, and look, these are all standards for us, mind you. We don't watch the Hollywood stuff. We don't, you know, drink booze. We don't do all these other things. And then it's like, sure enough, you've got people trying to criticize you for your standard. And, and what do we get slanderous reported? It's like, oh, yeah, you're so legalistic and you're always telling me, you know, you're looking down and you're like, no, we're not doing any of that. We're not looking down at people. We're not telling you how to live your life. But just by being a fundamentalist and trying to make my own changes in our own lives, other people have a problem with that. Even Christians. Like, why, you know, why is that? Why do I think that is? Well, here's why I think that is, because I think that people get a little convicted when they see someone else doing things that they're not doing that they probably should be doing. Deep down, they know it. And then they want to lash out at you for doing those things. That's my opinion. Obviously, that's not necessarily the case for every single person, but it seems to be the way it goes, right? But when you, when you decide to be, no, I'm going to be a fundamentalist, we want to make the changes. Hey, like, I'm a new creature. I want to really know what it is that God would have for me to do in this life. And obviously, there's some things that are more important than others. And the most important thing is what's on the inside. And that's where we're starting with that, and that's what I'm going to go into. But because of that, because of what's on the inside, because of the fundamental truths here that we're going to look at, that's why we make standards for ourselves in our life. So that we could be pleasing to God because we love God and we care about it. Because this isn't just a book of like, oh yeah, people say, oh yeah, it's the basic instructions before leaving earth. Which, yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with that particularly, except that most of the people that will say that, don't really follow the instructions. Right. <laughs> just kinda, it's nice to say, but are you really looking at it like it's an instruction set or is it just kind of more guiding principles to help you out a little bit? Like, No, let, let's look at it and treat it as the word of God as it is. It's not the word of men. It's the word of God. Amen. And if you're really serious about something, you know, especially it's like, take a step back and think like, no, this is the word of God. Like God, God the creator, God almighty, God who gives you breath, God who saved your soul has something for you. 